Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Warner, Associate Professor of Mathematics, and I've been tutoring SAT Math for the last 10 years. There are a few questions I hear over and over about the SAT from both parents and students, and I'd like to take this opportunity to answer some right now. Some of these answers might not be what you'd expect to hear. First, a lot of students ask me, Dr. Steve, is there any way that I'll be able to get through all of the math questions in the given amount of time? My answer is always, you're asking the wrong question. Worrying about getting to the end of the test will not improve your score. In fact, for most students, the problem is that they're already attempting too many questions. This advice might sound strange because students have been conditioned not to leave questions blank on tests. But the fact is, on a standardized test, most students will increase their score by reducing the number of questions they attempt. In my book, The 32 Most Effective SAT Math Strategies, I cover the number of problems that you should be attempting based upon your current ability level. Another common question that students ask me is how much more math do I need to learn to perform well on the SAT? For most students, the answer is none. Almost every student who comes to me for tutoring already knows all the math he or she needs to do very well on the SAT. All that they're lacking are test-taking strategies that are specific to this test. Many of these strategies are extremely simple and can be used immediately. Most students that I work with see an immediate jump of 50 points or more in their score on practice tests and 100 points or more overall. The immediate jump comes from strategies that are so simple that they can be used the same day they're learned. All of these strategies plus more are waiting for you in my book, The 32 Most Effective SAT Math Strategies. For the past 10 years, I've tutored high school students just like you. Students who wanted to get into their first choice college without compromising. This is your future. Scoring well on the SAT will play a large part in that future. Don't compromise your future by not preparing for it. I've poured my 10 years of experience into an ebook you can read at your leisure. Let me get you the maximum result with the minimum effort. In fact, that reminds me of another question students often ask. How much time do I need to spend practicing math problems for the SAT? Well, if you're wondering that as well, I have some good news and some more good news. First, you'll be happy to hear as long as you begin preparing three months before the test, you only need to practice 10 to 20 minutes each day. In fact, studying more can actually be counterproductive. Also, the other piece of good news is my book contains all the math problems as well as strategies you need to prepare in a smart, simple, and extremely effective way. So let me show you the proven roadmap to your first choice college. Check out my book, The 32 Most Effective SAT Math Strategies. Thank you.